Tune in to this week's episode of the DevOps Lab, where we have Octopus Deploy on this week's episode. We're going to be building a .NET app in Azure DevOps with Octopus Deploy. So tune in. Welcome to this week's episode of the DevOps Lab, and we're kicking off a brand new series with a very special guest, Derek Campbell. Welcome, Derek. Hey, April. How are you today? I'm doing really well. How are you doing? Very excited. Uh, very excited to finally be on uh, your show. Very excited to have you here. So you work for Octopus Deploy. Can you tell everyone out there what did you do for Octopus? Certainly, certainly. I'm a principal uh, solution architect in the community team. What we do is we get out and talk to people and show off Octopus and just generally how awesome it is. Uh, so it's a pretty sweet gig. Awesome. Well, I'm really excited to have you here on the DevOps Lab because I really like Octopus Deploy as a product. And we're, tonight we're going to focus on the first one where we're going to be building .NET apps into Azure DevOps with Octopus Deploy, right? Yes. Uh, today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take random quotes. Uh, I'm going to set up the build pipeline and then set up the integration into Octopus Deploy. Cool. Well, take it away and let's kick it off for us. Awesome. Okay. So let's start with uh, some Azure DevOps, right? Um, mm -hmm. So what we've got is Azure DevOps. I have went ahead and configured some of this already. Uh, there's some really great Microsoft documentation uh, to set up your uh, Azure DevOps organization and pro, uh, projects. What I've done here is I've already went ahead and done some of that. Uh, so I've got our uh, samples instance, I've got random quotes. Mm -hmm. I have actually already brought in um, the, 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 the repository uh, and I have already went ahead and created the, the Azure pipeline. So what I'm going to do is I am going to set this up and then I'm going to take it through. I'm going to integrate Octopus Deploy and then lastly, I'm going to push the package. I'm going to, we're going to run through a full build and then push the package and that will be the end of today's show. Awesome. So, well, let's jump in, and I absolutely love pipelines. Uh, pipelines is definitely my jam. The main, the thing I love about pipelines is just how easy uh, they are to set up and also how reusable they are. Once you generally have, a, say, for instance, a .NET Core one, you can very much kind of reuse it. So what I'm doing just now is I'm actually going to reuse one that I've already created. Cool. So let's uh, jump in. And uh, we can see here already that uh, there's a pipeline. Um, off we go. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, we've got a .NET Core. We've got a trigger on the main branch. Uh, we're using the 2019 um, Windows box. Uh, we've got some dependencies. And then from there, we're specifying some variables. And then this is when it gets really good, right, uh, is when you jump into the steps. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the .NET Core CLI. We're going to be running through a restore then a build using the release configuration. Uh, then from here, we're going to run some tests. I have, I do have some tests. Um, awesome, awesome. I actually get asked about, why don't you show any tests off? I said, well, okay, <laughs> let's do it then. Uh, so what we're then doing is we're going to publish it. As you can see here, we're just grabbing the, the project file and then specifying the release build configuration. And then from there, we're actually using uh, Octopus Pack. So this is actually an extension that you can install into your Azure DevOps instance. I will show you how to do that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the build and then we'll jump in and have a look. So there we cool. go. Cool. As you can see, we've got this. And then lastly, we're just grabbing the random quotes um, with the build number and then uploading it to Octopus. So awesome. let's jump in and uh, actually run this pipeline. And hopefully it runs. <laughs> I have tested this a few times, um, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work. Um, so yeah, uh, so actually one thing just to, to be aware, one of the first things you have to do, and as this is the first time um, I've actually run this pipeline as I've set it up, you're going to have to come into the job and you're going to get this big um, error uh, or warning that says that you have to grant permission. This is by design. Uh, so what we're doing here is we're just allowing the Octopus connection um, mm -hmm. using service mm -hmm. connections into, uh, we're just allowing the pipeline to use it. So whilst this is actually running, I actually am going to jump in and show you how you configure uh, the connection to Octopus. Awesome. So we jump in to the project settings, and then if you come down here, one thing just to be aware of is you have your service connections. 
Uh, so we can see here, we've called it Octopus. I like to keep things simple, April. It helps, it helps. It does, it does. Because coming up with a really creative name can be really difficult. I I, I like to, I, you know, um, for us, it's uh, some brand awareness, but it's, uh, can I say what you see? I'm a big fan of that uh, in DevOps. So as you've got up here, you've got the API key, and then mm -hmm. uh, we've actually specified the URL. Uh, in this instance, we're just using webinar.octopus.app. And you can actually join this and go um, join with guest authentication. So if you do want to see this, feel free to jump in and have a look at webinar.octopus.app. Cool. cool. Okay, so uh, at this point, we're going to jump back to random quotes. At this point, I'm hoping most of the build is actually already run. Um, so let's jump in. Let's have a look at the pipeline. So here we go. Off it's going. Um, as you can see here, it's uh, running through the stages. Uh, let's actually jump in and have a look at this. So let's jump into the job. It's been running for just over a minute. So what we've got here is we're checking out the code. Um, mm -hmm. we're then restoring, um, we're going through, you're doing your .NET restore, then we're doing our .NET build, test, publish, and then what we're actually doing is packaging up random quotes, which is a sample app that we use, um, so you've probably seen this before at some point, um, but what this basically does is just gives you a, a bunch of really cool random quotes, uh, that's really all it does. Awesome. Yeah. It's very, very, um, very, very straightforward. So whilst this is happening, let's jump in and actually have a look at the pipeline, right? One thing I love about Azure DevOps is what you can do is you can select edit your pipeline. I don't know about you, April, but I love the reusability and I love YAML, but I hate it in equal measures. I hate writing it, but what I do is I love using it, right? So when someone else writes it, that's a, it's, it's, it's a better thing. Exactly. And that, that is where open source is king, right? Or being able to share and share your YAML files out. It really is. And to be honest, um, I have other names for it, but, but yes, uh, YAML is yet another markup language. Um, so one thing just to be aware is you've got this Octopus push package and something mm -hmm. I love, I really do love this, mostly because I think it's, uh, oh, one second. It's always a way, isn't it? So for instance, in your tasks, any of your tasks that you've got, so as you can see, I'm typing in Octopus. Um, then there should be eight tasks available. One thing just to be aware, this will not appear unless you've installed the extension. So right. what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to run a push package just at the bottom. So we can push package to Octopus Deploy. And then what it does is it uses the API key to look up and find out information about Octopus. So again, we're using the Octopus connection, which I showed you earlier on. We've got the space, and then there is actually several spaces that we could use today. And this one, I'm going to use speaking. Because uh, that's what I do. And then the, yeah. the, the package is random quotes and then dot. This is where I make sure that I type things correctly. Dot zip. Excellent. And then overwrite mode. Um, you, you've got some options here. You can upload the package. You can fail if it's already there. Mm -hmm. In this instance, I pretty much always use overwrite existing. And then if you select add, Boom, right, there you go. So Adds it in you actually, Yeah, does it for you, right? You just have to input some of the bits. Same idea with the .NET core bits as well. So if you did want to do that, you can actually run through. So what I'm going to do is I am actually going to leave that because um, we don't want to make that change. It would actually push the same package twice. Oh, well, what do you know? There's a green tick. It Everyone has likes it when there's a green tick, right? Yeah, absolutely. Let's uh, have a look. So there we go. Come down, have a look at the job. And then what we should see is it, we've checked it out. We have restored it. We have built it. We've tested it. We've published it. And then from there, we've grabbed the, the random quotes package and then pushed it up to Octopus. At this point, I'm going to actually just go over to Octopus Deploy and make sure. So as you can see, we're in the, the speaking app. We're in webinar.octopus.app. We're going to refresh and i'm hoping this says random quotes at the bottom when i refresh it let's see and there we go there i is. was worried there for just a second um so as you can see we've got random quotes and then from here you've got your your your, your package version so one thing just to be aware of you can come to octopus.com forward slash downloads if you select the azure devops and tfs extension so this does work with azure devops and also tfs so if you select download 
doesn't actually download anything. It takes you to the Octopus Deploy integration and then you can select get it free and then from there you actually select which of your Azure DevOps instances or organizations that you want to install it. I already have went ahead and done that, but this is something you can download and install on any of uh, the ones, um, any of your um, Azure DevOps organizations, as you can see, I have a few. Um, so yeah, um, from that, that's pretty much all I have for you for this episode today. Well, that's awesome, Derek. I'm very happy to see you run some tests, by the way. Um, very proud of you. Also, I think lots of people ask, you know, we've invested Octopus or whatever tooling. So to see it integrate into ADO seamlessly is awesome because companies don't want to lose that investment. Octopus Deploy is a fantastic product. So it makes sense. So thank you, Derek, for showing us that today. And everyone, you can tune in next time. We have Octopus Deploy coming back with Derek for some cool new stuff using Octopus Deploy in Azure. So stay tuned. Mm -hmm.